a vinyl community mark here from sound matters with another vinyl video we're talking about half speed mastering today we're going to talk about how the process works and why it can improve the sound quality of any given pressing The record you can see sat on the turntable at the moment is a Richard Ashcroft record called Acoustic Hymns, which is essentially a whole load of acoustic remakes of classic tracks by Richard Ashcroft and of course big songs by The Verve, all done as acoustic numbers. Now it proudly states that the record was done at half speed at Abbey Road Studios, but what does this actually mean? To understand what this term means, it makes sense to first understand the basics of how our record is cut during the mastering process in the first place. To produce a master record, a lacquer disc is placed on a cutting machine known as a lathe. The lathe cutting head engraves the source material into the lacquer. Once completed, the lacquer master disc is then used to create the stamper that will eventually be used to manufacture vinyl records. The entire process is a highly skilled job and requires a great deal of accuracy. In the case of half speed mastering, however, the whole process is slowed down to, well, you guessed it, half the original speed. So in other words, a typical 33 and a third RPM record is then cut at 16 and two thirds RPM. The source material was also slowed down, which reduces the pitch in the process, meaning the final record will sound normal when played back at 33 and a third RPM. So what are the benefits then of half speed mastering? Well, the groove cut into a vinyl record is a physical representation of the sound waves we hear as music. High frequencies, by definition, produce very fast, transient cycles that are more difficult to cut than longer, low frequency sound waves. If we half the speed, then very fast, difficult to cut high frequencies then become much easier to cut mid-range sounds. Also, the cutting head now has twice the amount of time to cut the intricate groove, resulting in a higher quality, more detailed representation of the original sound source. This type of cut can help mitigate some of the downsides of things like inner groove distortion, as the natural high frequency roll off that happens as the groove progresses towards the centre of the record is now greatly reduced. In addition, cutting heads operating at half speed are also said to draw much less power when operating at full tilt, which leaves much greater headroom in the amplifier system to respond to sudden power demands. Audibly, this benefit here is heard as greater dynamic response and instrument separation. When all is said and done, half-speed mastering results in a superior sounding record that is both richer and fuller in low-mid frequencies and smoother at the top end. The stereo image is also hugely improved and the overall sound is focused and engaging. What I've covered in this video is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the potential benefits and how this works as a process. And you know, not all material actually benefits or is suitable to half speed mastering as a process. And if you'd like to learn more about the whole process, how it works, when it's beneficial and when it's not so beneficial, then I recommend you head over to our website. I'll leave a link in the description below and in this video so you can check out the full feature for yourself. This also includes a bit of an interview section with a mastering engineer called Barry Grint, highly experienced mastering engineer who actually runs Alchemy Mastering based in Air Studios in London. He has a wealth of experience in terms of uh, this kind of cutting process and it's something they're keen to use as a mastering house wherever it is beneficial and possible. So to learn more about that, do head over and check out the full feature for yourself. But that pretty much just gives you in a nutshell, you know, the basics and the essence of why half speed mastering can be beneficial to many mastering cuts when it's applied in the right way. So that concludes today's topic. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and interesting and gives you some insight into why a half-speed mastering pressing can be such a great thing from an audiophile perspective. And what do you think about half-speed mastering? Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any uh, pressings that are half-speed mastering? Could you hear the difference? Let us know. I want to hear from you down in the comments below. And if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video and we will see you in that next video. Take it easy. Thank you.